How's it going guys and welcome to the first episode of my Real Madrid career mode series and this will be the first video that I am doing on FIFA 16 now that it's out we're going to be doing a career mode with Real Madrid starting it off here with a fairly big team and I've got big ambitions this year and I'm going to be starting off a career mode with arguably one of the best teams in the world and we are going to be doing a career mode with Real Madrid. The main aim of this series is basically to go ahead and try and win as much as we can either in the first season or in the second season. This career mode is probably going to last maybe two or three seasons maximum and we will see if we can win everything during that time. And for the time being, we're going to put the difficulty onto world class. And if it gets too easy, then we will up the difficulty, put it onto legendary. And that will give us more of a challenge in this series because that's what it's all about. It's about having a challenge. Trying to win everything is going to be a challenge. Even on world class, for the time being, it will be a challenge. And you can see now that we are going to be going into the pre-season tournaments as well. And of course, we are going to be choosing the American Challenge Cup. It's really, really good that EA have added this feature to career mode and of course we are going to take full advantage of it and we are going to go straight into a pre-season tournament because it just makes sense really we get money out of it and we get to test out the squad see what players are really good in this Real Madrid side and now that we are into the career mode we will be able to have a little look at the squad evaluate what we've got here at Real Madrid and to be honest we've got a lot of depth there are a lot of players in a lot of positions but that doesn't mean that all of them are quality we certainly need to bring in a few more players there are a lot of players that are out on loan as well at different clubs you've got Fabio Coentrao who's gone out on loan to Monaco and you've got other youngsters in there that have gone out to other clubs and they've gone out on loan spells we have a really good side here with Real Madrid but that doesn't mean that we're not going to try and sign some players in this transfer window. We're going to try and sign some players and you will see my shortlist in a minute of players that I do want to sign in this series. And especially in the first transfer window, I want to try and sign a couple of players at least. And maybe send out a few players on loan and also transfer listing a few players. You can see there that we do have the domestic cup objective and the board have asked us to win the cup. So that's going to be a, a bit of a challenge, but even more of a challenge is that they want us to win the league as well so it's going to be very interesting to see if we can fulfill that and you will be able to see now the players that I've transfer listed I've transfer listed Arbeloa and Fernandez, two players that I don't really feel are going to get too much game time and it's probably worth us selling and of course as well as that we have youngsters that we're trying to loan out for two year loan deals and one year loan deals that's another feature that EA have added this year, you can send out players on loan for two year loan deals that really is useful as well as it means that you don't have to constantly loan out players. Say you've got young players that you want to loan out. You can loan them out for two years and hope that they end up growing well on that loan spell. But now you can see some of the players that I'm looking to sign. And at the moment, the shortlist is quite small. We've got David De Gea, Mats Hummels. We've got Marquinhos, Gaia, Pogba, Royce, Lucas, Morata. And we've also got Sergio Aguero. That list could change. And if you've got any players that you want me to sign... Let me know in the comments down below, guys. And maybe the goalkeeper position is a position that we should look at replacing. Casilla is currently our best goalkeeper. He's 81 rated. And looking at the side, this is the best side that we can make with the players that we do have. We've got Ronaldo on the left. We've got Bale on the right. A really, really solid team. And when you have players like Isco who are on the bench, 84 rated and not even getting into the first team, that's when you know that we've got a really, really good side here at Real Madrid. But like I did say, I still want to sign some players and this will be our backup side that we are going to be going with for cup matches and all of that jazz, maybe even for pre-season friendlies as well. But it's a very strong side once again, a lot of good young players at Real Madrid and it looks like that they want us to win the Champions League as well. So another big challenge and it's going to be very very difficult in this first season but I'm hopeful that with the players that we have at our disposal we will be able to fulfill all of the objectives that the board are setting us even though they're so high and it's going to be interesting to see whether we can win everything that we've been asked to win in this first season as we go into the first game and it will be against Bayern Munich the first game in the series and it will be a pre-season tournament game in a very very tough group stage which you will see in a minute we did also get a transfer offer for Sergio Ramos but of course we swiftly went and counter offered that one at 65 million no way are we going to be selling him. He's going to be the club captain. And you can see there that we've got PSG, we've got Roma. 
And of course we have Bayern Munich as well, the team that we're going to be playing in this first match of this Real Madrid career mode. They have a very, very strong side. It's a big, big test for the first game of this series and it certainly was a difficult one. But we did get a good opportunity here in the 10th minute. We get inside to Isco. Isco has a shot but it comes off the post and we are very, very close there to opening our account with Real Madrid. Isco hitting the post there, very unlucky. But then we get a good opportunity from a throw in here and this was a very good opportunity to maybe swing one into the middle and it's a really good cross to the far post and it is going to be Cristiano Ronaldo to get the first goal of the game and it is a dream start here against one of the European heavyweights by Munich a very very strong side but that goal was really really well executed a brilliant cross into the middle and it is Ronaldo to put it into the back of the net with a very very nice header indeed they get an opportunity themselves though and they actually end up hitting the post themselves so very unlucky for Bayern Munich but one thing that I have noticed about the game so far especially on career mode is that it's very very slow tempo the AI seem to hold on to the ball quite a lot there's hardly any chances that come in the game and even when they do come they're not even that good shots on goal and maybe that's something that EA need to sort out I don't know it's still early stages but it seems like it's very very difficult to get any chances and any possession going even on the world-class computer and that really is a little bit strange I don't know why that is maybe that's just the way that FIFA is going to be this year but we do end up regardless getting our first win with Real Madrid and of course it will be the pre-season game against Bayern Munich a 1-0 win Ronaldo's header, the only goal separating both of the sides. And it was a really, really well fought out victory. It was a very difficult one. But I'm very glad that we managed to pick up all three points. And it is a dream start to the series with our first win in the pre-season tournament against Bayern Munich. Arguably one of the strongest sides. And it was very good that we managed to pick up the win. Even though we got absolutely dominated throughout the game. It certainly was a difficult fixture to be a part of. And it was probably made even harder by the fact that I still don't know how to score. I still don't know how to build up the game and create shots on goal properly. And you'll see that by the match stats. I hardly had any shots on goal compared to Bayern Munich. They had 10 shots and 5 on target. And they probably deserve to at least get one goal in the game. But in the end, we do get the win. And after that, we are going to be seeing that we get a transfer offer again from Chelsea for Sergio Ramos. They came in with a 35 million bid. And to be honest, that is nowhere near enough. If we are going to sell him, it's going to have to take a monstrous fee. And I mean 60 plus million. But then again, it is still the first episode. And I want to give you guys some time to decide what players you think I should sell. What players do you think I should bring in and have a say on the transfers? And that's exactly why we're going to be going straight into the next game. And the second and final game of the episode, which will be against Roma. And of course, again, it will be in the preseason tournament. Roma themselves are, again, a very strong side, a very difficult side to come up against. But arguably, out of PSG and Bayern Munich, they're going to be the weakest side to come up against. And hopefully, we would hope that we'd be able to pick up a win in this one. But I just realised as well that we do actually have a few players that are out on international duty. We've got players like James Rodriguez, who wasn't able to play in this match. And that's something that I didn't actually mention. And that is a bit of a blow for us because he is certainly a crucial player for us. But again, early on, we have a few chances on goal. And then it would be Roma going through on goal here having a shot and a good attempt for Ashley Cole there to maybe put it into the back of the net but he was very unlucky wasn't able to get it on target then we end up getting a free kick here in the 41st minute and this was a really really dangerous chance for us to score possibly and of course it would be Ronaldo to stand over this free kick 25 yards out will we be able to score no we won't we hit the wall and probably not enough power on that free kick for it to go into the back of the net. But again, a really, really stale game to be honest. And even on world class, it was becoming a bit of an issue. Not really too many chances going on goal. Four highlights in the whole game against Roma. And it certainly wasn't an action-packed game. A bit like that game against Bayern Munich. Not really too many shots going on goal. And I believe that's a problem that a lot of people are facing at the moment. The AI just seemed to hold on to the ball. Pass it round the back. And it's very, very hard 
to create possession, to create chances. You can see exactly there, Roma having 56% possession against us. And they just absolutely dominated us. But they just wouldn't find the target. And they wouldn't find a good opportunity on goal. But after that match, I thought it would be time to take a little look at another new feature that EA have added to career mode. They've really gone ham on career mode this year. They've added a lot of new features. One of them being player training, as you can see here. We're going to go with Karim Benzema. And we're going to try and train him in his shooting. I think that's what we eventually go with. And we're also going to try and train a few other players. If you want me to train any players in particular, then let me know in the comments down below, guys. If you want me to try and build up any player and try and make them into a world-class player for this Real Madrid side, then let me know in the comments down below. But it is a really, really good concept. A very, very good idea. And it is surely going to help with the growth of players. Because last year and the year before that and the year before that... There's always a certain player on career mode that just wouldn't grow. But I'm hoping with this player training, which is a very, very good feature that EA have added to the game. I'm hoping now that we've got this, we can train our players. We can make them world-class players. And, well, that's just going to be absolutely awesome. We can maybe train a few players with Real Madrid. Maybe we can make Martin Odegaard into a first-team player within a couple of seasons. But you can see there that we did end up finishing off that drill. And that will increase his finishing and his shot power, which will be absolutely awesome for Karim Benzema. And I am going to go in for the first player. I said I wasn't going to make any transfers, but I am going to go in for Lucas Moura of PSG. I'm going to be offering Cherishev. Plus 10 million pounds and hoping that we can go ahead and sign him. And as well as that, we do get a transfer offer for Isco as well from Valencia of all clubs. They ended up offering 29 million pounds. I believe they have a lot of money to spend on career mode. So I counter offered 55 million and maybe their new owners will splash the cash on Isco. But we'll have to find out in the next episode, guys, which will be up tomorrow. And hopefully you have enjoyed this first episode of this Real Madrid career mode series. And if you have enjoyed this first episode, remember to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already, guys. Also, remember to leave any players that you want me to sign in the comments down below, guys. And I will make sure that I get round to trying to sign some of those players. But apart from that, guys, I'm going to have to leave it there. And I'll see you next time for another video. Thanks for watching.